Hi and welcome again. Uh, we are doing part nine of ASP.NET Core with the Flutter. So we have stopped last time with the the student uh, add student UI. So we've been doing uh, this UI as you see in the emulator. So what we'll try to do today, we'll try to wrap the second uh, text field with padding just to make space from between these two. Uh, text field so what we'll do here uh, before the text field last name text uh, field we'll add padding so uh, this padding will contain padding edge only we'll use top 15 and we'll maybe we'll have something under this uh, last name so we'll add same time from the bottom 15 okay so the that's good now after this one here we'll have the child so the child of this padding as we said will be all this text field copy all this one you'll be careful when you copy it um, let's put it here okay i think that's nice okay if we save it and we're back to our emulator I think now we see good spacing between them and that's great so even if you add anything under this one we'll have spacing too so we finish this padding now under this padding uh, what we can put now uh, so we have in in our database we should send first name last name and the gender uh, so gender it will be here a uh, drop down list to choose one of the values you don't need the end user to write a value in, in this one because what we'll send to that database will send one or two or three or zero one two three as uh, depend on what you want but we need to display something for the, the user to be something static for him if you choose one oh sorry if you choose a mail to send to that database uh number one or number zero if you choose female he will choose uh, he will send number three so I didn't. I don't need to uh, save something like that in my database. Just will be integer only, not uh, anything string there. Uh, to save, all well, uh, it's not to save space. It's not that big things, but to make our database more efficient or it will be better for uh, the user. So uh, now what I want to do here, I want to add drop down uh, button. So this button here will have a string value okay so under it uh, we'll have the item first we don't need value sorry items so what this items this items as I said to you I need something uh, to store male female and none so we'll go to the top of my uh, code here before building the forum or the UI so I will write uh, final uh, underscore gender uh, drop yeah we'll call it drop down uh, list so this one what will what will you store it will be genders because we'll have more than one value to be array inside this one we can add one two three this one called NA female and male and we need one more that will be for gender only will be string we'll call it the same name but only one value the, to be this the default value uh, let's say an A let's copy this one and go down to our uh, method to write there the mapping for the method uh, where is our method so here I'll pass it what I have copy from the top so I will use here map inside this map I will have string value value okay so inside this inside this value I will return uh, what will return here return drop down uh, 
Yeah, we'll return drop down menu items. Return uh, drop uh, down drop down menu items item not items. It would be type of string bracket. So here we'll have value. So the value it will came from the top and yeah yeah let me just do it good yeah that's fine after that we'll have the child child not on change where is the child I think we missed something here so just like right our hand sometime does not come so the child will be text um, inside this text we'll have the value why okay now we have this one um, let me go one down close this one and I think I need to close one here yep mm, dot to to be to list here so after I create my list to show it in the drop down list in the drop down list so I need to uh, send the mapping convert it to to list just be careful always about the brackets if you forget something so string let to list here uh, that's fine okay after finish that to list uh, now we need to put the style we can use same style or to be standard style with everything uh, okay let's write again style so the style will use same style we said uh, text style after that the value uh, here will will receive value as a string so we need to retrieve it or as I told you if the value it will be the it will be one we need to return gen, uh, the gender what we uh, let's say let's suppose one it will be equal to a male or two to female uh, something like that so what we'll do here we'll write function uh, this function will call it uh, let's suppose uh, retrieve let uh, uh, gender so but what will send there depend on this uh, value or in gender value they will send me this retrieve so uh, we'll go to the button of the code here we'll copy this one we'll write the retrieve one so it will be easy not that hard uh, let's go here uh, so it will be it will return a string let's cut you copy from there we'll receive a value to be in value so here we what will return uh, we'll return return I will return gender list underscore uh, yeah I think we call it gender list which one this one here copy it let's put it here what this okay because the array start from zero we'll start from here uh, we'll start from here will be one minus one and the close this one here we forget it that's great so this our blender so now uh, let's suppose I open the forum so this forum will be for to display or to show the details and this and the and send a post to the uh, API so when I open when I press on an, any one of the rest from the main uh, main UI so it will open this uh, UI to show me or the details of this uh, student so I need to add one more things here so on change when this change the value will be changed 
uh, I need to update the list because the list I have list male, female, and NA. So depend on the value what I receive from the uh, API, I want to change the drop down list. So I will write the same update uh, gender. gender value okay I will copy this one too I will go just to write this method under that last one here so this one will be just void uh, you will receive a string value here this is string value it will be a switch case so I'm receiving the value so if the value I'm receiving is male sorry, should be same what we have written in the top there so student that gender I suppose it will be equal to one so I'm updating my uh, uh, gender, student ge the gender value depend on the value I have on the drop down. In this first case, so the second case, what will will copy this one? Uh, we have three cases. To be here, a uh, female. Let's suppose send two. And here we'll send the three. Na. Uh, so I think we'll be clear more when we'll see how when it will work. We'll uh, we'll see it more clearly, and will be more understandable. So just here we have first things. We fill the map the drop down list depend on the on the values we took from the top, or from the gender. So we have three values there. We build our uh, drop down list. We put the style. After that, we retrieve the value. If we get the value from the from the students, because here it will be one, two, three. Let's suppose there is value inside this one. Depending on that value, they will display for us there. And last one, if I press on it, I choose, let's suppose, male. It will store by default in the student gender number one or female number two, like that will be. The just in any and the and the uh, changing the status of the drop down list. Uh, let's try to see what's happening there. Oh, no, it's coming something coming there. So, here, as as you see here, we are having three values so male, female. It's a bit confusing, but if you read the code, it will be easy. So, now here. As you see, it's just the drop down list. Uh, just this is the code of it here, just to build it, and after that, here to retrieve it and we'll send it when you update it to send it to that database. I think that that's not uh, that be a big issue or not hard. Uh, let me stop here and we'll see you in the next video.